assalamu alaikum everyone today i am going to solve the hcc you said cs computer science expected paper 2023 and this lecture is will be very very helpful to you to gain good marks in exams of you said 2023 but first of all must remember that in quantitative reasoning you have to solve the 25 mcqs arithmetic have 6 six, six mcqs algebra and functions have 4 mcqs geometry have 3 mcqs equations and statistics have 3 mcqs and mental mathematics have 6 mcqs but in this video i will solve out the section of quantitative reasoning and this lecture will be clear your all concepts uh, because i am going to solve the all miracles so let's start the first mcq is here arithmetic section the mean of first 10 even numbers is the correct option is 11 let's solve the question the mean of first 10 even numbers will be 11 solution is here the first 10 natural even numbers are given as follows we know that the even number starts from the value 2 So starting from 2 the 10 even numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 to find the mean the following formula is used mean is equal to sum of the observations divided by number of observations so mean of this these even numbers are mean is equal to 2 4 6 up to so 20 divided by 10 we will get 1 10 by 10 which is equal to 11 thus the mean of the first 10 even natural numbers will be 11 so here in this mcqs d option is correct the next mcqs is given here in the hostel there were 100 students to accommodate 20 more students the average is decreased by rupees 5 but total expenditure is increased by rupees 400 find the total expenditure of the hostel now the correct option is given here 5400 let's solve the question let's say average expenditure was x rupees expenditure of 100 students is equal to 100 100x rupees and expenditure increased by rupees 400 now expenditure is equal to 100x plus 400 rupees now students are 100 plus 20 is equal to 120 now average will be here x minus 5 now expenditure is equal to 120 bracket x minus 5 is equal to 120x minus 600 rupees 100x plus 400 is equal to 120x minus 600. By solving the equation, we'll get x is equal to 50. Now expenditure are 100x plus 400, which is equal to 100 multiplied by 50 plus 400. We'll get 5400. Which shows that here in this MCQs, A option is correct. The next MCQ is given here. A college in Lahore has 1,156 students. The college principal wants to arrange the students in a square. Find the number of students in the front row. The correct option is given here, 34. Because total number of students in a college are 1,156. If the students to form a pattern like a square on the field for the mass rule function, then the number of students in each side of the square is equal to x. X multiplied by x is equal to 1,156. By uh, by taking the square root, we'll get x is equal to square root of 1,156, which can be also written as 2 multiplied by 17 multiplied by 17. By solving this equation, we get x is equal to 34. So 34 students form each side of the square, which shows that here in this MCQs, D option is correct. The next MCQ is given here. The average of 13 numbers is 60. Average of the first seven of them is 57, and that of the last seven is 61. Find the eighth number. The correct option is given here, 46, because 
total or uh, total sum of 30 numbers is equal to 13 multiplied by 60 is equal to 780 sum of first seven numbers is equal to 7 multiplied by 57 is equal to 399 sum of last seven numbers is equal to 7 multiplied by 61 is equal to 427 then sum of last six numbers is equal to 780 minus 399 is equal to 381 hence the eighth number is equal to 427 minus 381 is equal to 46 which shows that here in this mcqs a option is correct the next mcq is given here the average of the marks of 12 students in a class is 36. If the marks of each student are doubled, find the new average. The correct option is given here. Uh, the right option is 72. A option is correct. Very simple question. Let's solve that. If the marks of each student are doubled, then the average will also be doubled. So new average will be here. 36 multiplied by 2 is equal to 72. Very simple questions here. In this MCQs, A option is correct. The next MCQ is given here. The total marks obtained by a student in physics, uh, chemistry and mathematics is 150 more than the marks obtained by him in physics. What is the average mark obtained by him in chemistry and mathematics? The correct option is given here. Uh, the right option is 60 because let the marks obtained in physics, chemistry and mathematics are denoted by P, C and M respectively according to, according to the given condition P plus C plus M is equal to C plus 120 P plus M is equal to 120 C, C will be cancelled out we will get P, M, P plus M divided by 2 is equal to 60 so here the right option will be here D option. The so here D option is correct. The next time is given here. The next section is about the algebra and functions. 4x square plus 16x plus 36 is equivalent to the 4 bracket x square plus 4x plus 9. D option is correct. Very simple. Just common here 4 will get the answer. So here D option is correct. The next time is given here. If x is equal to 5, y is equal to 4, z is equal to 3, then which of the following is true? The first condition here and second will, will afford that the correct option is given here, third and fourth. Let's solve that question. In first condition, x plus y plus z is equal to 11. By putting the values of x, y, z, x is 5, y is 4, and z is 3. I will, will solve that, we get z equal to 11, this is not true. By solving this question, x plus y minus z is equal to minus 6, this is also not true. And But the third equation is x plus y plus z is equal to 12, 5 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 12, this is true. Minus x plus y minus z is equal to minus 4, minus 5 plus 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 4 is true. So third and 4 are true. So here in this MCQs, B option is correct. The next MCQ is given here. If 5A is equal to 2B is equal to 40C, then what is the value of 8A plus 5B in terms of C? The correct option is given here. The right option is 164C because since 5a is equal to 40c, it follows that a is equal to 8c. Also, since 2b is equal to 40c, so here b is equal to 20c. Hence, 8a plus 5b is equal to 8 bracket 8c. a is equal to 8c plus 5 bracket 20c will get 64c plus 100c, which is equal to 164c. So here in this MCQs, b option is correct. The next MCQ is given here. The trinomial x square plus x minus 20 is exactly divisible by the correct option is given here x minus 4. Very simple. The next is the next section about the geometry. Which of the following is a reflex angle? The correct option is given here 204 degree. We know that reflex angle must be between 180 degree and 360 degree it can't be equal to 180 degree or 360 degree as these are straight and complete angle respectively 
here only 204 degree is greater, greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree which shows that here in this MCQ C option is correct the next MCQ is given here very simple dash angle sum up to 180 degree the correct option is given here supplementary angles the next is dash connects or any two points on a circle the correct option is given here chord the next the next section about the equations the quadratic equation x square plus 7x minus 60 has the correct option is given here are uh, two real and unequal roots let's solve the equation of quadratic, quadratic here x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0 uh, by applying here factorization method x bracket x minus 12 plus 5 bracket x minus 12 is equal to 0 x minus 12 and x plus 5 is equal to 0 will get x is equal to 12 minus 5 this question have two real and unequal roots which shows that here in this mcqs c option is correct the next MCQ is given here amjad has rupees 12000 in his bank account amjad has given three by four of his amount to his, his brother how many rupees amjad has given to his brother the correct option is given here 9000 because three by four multiplied by 12000 4 is a 12, we will get 3 multiplied by 3000, 3 is a 9, 9000 is the correct, so here A option is correct. The next MC is given here, the sum of the reciprocal, reciprocal of Rahman's age 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3, the present age of Rahman is the correct option is given here 7. Let's solve the question. Let's suppose that Rahman's age, Rahman's present age is x rupees three years ago. Rahman's age is equal to x minus three years, five years. Hence, his age will be here x plus five years. So here, one over x minus three plus one over x plus five is equal to one by three. By simplifying this question, we'll get x plus five plus x minus three divided by x plus 5 x minus 3 is equal to 1 by 3 we will get x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 6x plus 6 x square minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 now applying here factorization method x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 is equal to 0 x bracket x minus 7 plus 3 bracket x minus 7 we'll get the equations x plus 3 x minus 7 x is equal to minus 3 7 Raman's present age is 7 years so here in this mcqs a option is correct the next mcq is given here stress the next section about the statistics confidence interval is the measure of precision b option is correct the next is if p is equal to 0 0.6 and q is equal to 0 0.4 then shape of the binomial distribution will be given as negatively skewed b option is correct the next is stretch 6 has handicap dealing with the correct option is qualitative data d option is correct the next and last section about the mental mathematics if a completes a particular work in eight days and b completes the same work in 24 days how many days will it take if they work together the correct option is given here six because if a takes eight days to complete one work then a take one day to complete the task is equal to 1 by 8 work and b take 24 days to complete is equal to 1 work then b takes 1 day to complete 1 by 24 work if a plus b work together then 1 by 8 plus 1 by 24 days take to, co to complete this work finally 6 days to complete here if they work together so here in this mcqs c option is correct the next mcq is given here if the sum of two numbers is 16 and their product is 63 then the large number is given as the correct option is 9 because 
x plus y is equal to 16 x plus x multiply y is equal to 63 this is sum and this is product no need to solve above question think logically here 63 is a multiple of 9 and 7 so 9 plus 7 is equal to 16 so numbers are here 9 and 7 so here in this mcqs a option is correct the next mcq is given here the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 78 what is the largest number the correct option is given here 28 because let's suppose that the three numbers be x x plus 2 x plus 4 given here their sum is 78 so here x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to 78 therefore 3x plus 6 equal to 78 x plus 2 is equal to 26 we'll get x is equal to 24 has so here three consecutive number will be 24 26 28 but 28 is the largest number which is requirement so here c option is correct the next mc is given here if rupees 1000 is deposited in a bank which pays annual interest at the rate of 5% compounded annually find the maturity amount at the end of 12 years the correct option is given here rupees 1795.85 because rupees 1000 have been deposited in a bank court at interest rate of 5% compounded annually the formula for future amount in a compound based interest calculated annually is a is equal to p bracket 1 plus r raised to power t where p r and t are the principal amount interest rate and time in years respectively calculating for p is equal to 1000 r is equal to 0 0.05 and t is equal to l we will get a is equal to 1000 bracket 1 plus 0 0.05 bracket 12 we'll get the value here a approximately is equal to 1795.85 so here in this mcqs a option is correct the next mcq is given here a boy sold his bicycle for twenty four hundred dollars and earned twenty percent profit what was the original price the price without the profit of the bicycle the correct option is given here the right is two thousand dollars let's solve the question bicycle sold for 2400 and 20% profit earned let the cost be x x plus 20x divided by 100 is equal to 2400 120x is equal to 24 240,000 x is equal to 2000 dollars and if you want to check the profit so here rupees 1000 rupees 2000 is the cost of the bicycle 20 percent of rupees 2000 will get rupees 400 profit so here in this mcqs d option is correct the next mc given here a father wants to distribute rupees 50 hundred thousand in his two sons vahid and navid in a ratio of two ratio three respectively how much money does vahid receive the correct option is given here 20 hundred thousand let's solve the question let the amount paid to both the sons be 2x and 3x 2x plus 3x equal to 50 hundred thousand 5x equal to 50 hundred thousand x is equal to we get 10 hundred thousands 2x equal to 2 multiplied by 10 hundred thousand will get 2 20 hundred thousand which is Vahid 3x is equal to 3 multiplied 10 hundred thousand will be paid to Navid 30 hundred thousand so here for the correct option is given here D option is correct thanks for watching this video also share this lecture with your classmates and friends so that they also have a benefit of it and don't forget to like and subscribe this video and you can also visit the playlist of this channel to learn more and more goodbye